Great, so you're new to Tana and you might still be a little confused. Is this a note-taking app? Is it more than that? And what is it that actually makes it so powerful? In this video, we're going to explore that. We're going to step back, zoom out a little and really show you why Tana is so powerful. This is the first of a series of videos where we teach you Tana. And by the way, my name is Santi and together with Nick, we run this channel. I'm going to hand the microphone to him in a second. But I do want to let you know that if you do start feeling overwhelmed by the number of YouTube videos out there, we do have a comprehensive course that takes you step by step to really learn Tana. So if you want to check that out, more information in the description. With that said, I'm going to give the microphone over to Nick. I'm going to have to edit this part. The first thing to cover is the atomicity of a ton. What I mean by that is just like atoms accumulate to become molecules, which become then substances, organisms, entire planets, whatever. But it all boils down to atoms at some point. That's how Tana operates. Because in Tana, everything is a node. In the universe, everything is an atom. In Tana, everything is a node, including the interface that you are leveraging to build inside Tana. Absolutely everything is a node. Why that matters and why that makes Tana powerful, there's a few different reasons for that. One is it allows for a maximization of the readability of things from the computer, from the system perspective. And now that AI has come along, it maximizes the possibility of AI reading things, understanding things, being able to manipulate things. It also means that everything is hypothetically changeable, interchangeable between and with other parts. You can modify things, you can transform things, you can apply attributes to anything. So that's on kind of a technical and philosophical level. On a practical level, why do you care? What Tana is able to unlock is basically, instead of you needing to know a programming language and interact with an interface in that way, just typing in code, and manipulating databases because of how Tana is built. It allows you, the person using the product, to be a programmer without needing to program anything. It's basically a no-code development tool, but it's much more than that because it's not just a development tool. It's also out of the box a note-taking tool and you can use your notes the way that you structure them what you put inside them and how you tag them what kind of live queries and commands that you use your notes can literally become a piece of software that you use that is the magical power of time instead of programming through code you can program through natural language and relatively organic structure of how things are put together inside your notes. Okay, thanks Nick for the microphone. Uh, <laughs> nice, okay, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, like I said, this is an introductory video to the next videos we're gonna be uploading in this series to help you understand Tana. And if you just want a completely exhaustive and just comprehensive way to learn Tana step-by-step, step, you can check out our course in the description. Next videos on this series are gonna show here on screen. The course is gonna be in the description. Go do whatever's right for you, and I hope to see you there whichever way you're going. Okay, bye, see you later, bye, bye, bye.